is the magic drill? Yes. In the last magic drill, what did you practice? Even numbers and odd numbers. Right. Look here once. What do you find? Yes. A boy. A boy. His name is Raj. One day, Raj was so excited as he is going to celebrate his birthday within two days. Why Raj was so excited? Yes, he is going to celebrate his birthday in two days. Then Raj's father asked him, Raj, how many people are going to attend to your birthday party? Then Raj replied to his father, that I have invited 20 people to my birthday party. How many people did Raj invite to his birthday party? Good. 20 people. But Raj told that I am not sure how many people may attend the party. Because Priya wants to bring her sister and Brother, Ramu may not attend the party because his relatives are coming on the same day. Chintu is not coming unless Sumu and Minu are coming. Then Ra's father asked him, Just you can give us a round number how many will attend the party? Then Raj asked his father, A round number. What is a round number? Children, do you know what is a round number? No? Right. Children, see here. What are these? Yes, these are marbles. Can you tell how many marbles are here? 10, 15. Can you tell the exact number of marbles? No, but we can assume how many are there. Right? Children, look here. Yes, what do you find? It shows an exhibition image. An exhibition image. If I ask you, how many people have visited the exhibition yesterday? I repeat the question. How many people have visited the exhibition yesterday? Can you tell the exact number of people who have visited the exhibition? No. But we can tell that there are around 500 people or around 400 people. People, right? Now, look at here. This is a chain. How the chain prepared? With the beads. Can you tell how many beads are here? Yes. Can you give the exact number of beads? No. But we can tell nearly 50 beads are there. Right? Yes. Once look at here. This picture shows about a library. Can you guess how many books are in the library? There are around 800 books. Sometimes we need not use the exact numbers. Instead of the exact number, we use a round number like the words around Nearly, roughly, about. These words gives us an approximate value. These approximate values are known as rounding of values. These approximate values are known as rounding of values. Children, for example, see, I am checking a number 
43. We know that the number 43 lies in between 4 tenths 40 and the next higher tenths 50. So the number 43 lies in between 40 and 50. How we will find the rounding value of 43 to the nearest tenths by using a number line. See, here I am taking the number line from 40 to 50. Why? Why I need to take only the number line from 40 to 50? Very good. Here the number is 43 as 43 lies in between 40 and 50. I am taking the number line from 40 to 50. See, represent the numbers which are from 40 to 50. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. The next numbers, very good. 46, 47, 48, 49 and then 50. Now, what is our number? 43. Circle 43. 43 is near to which tens? Either 40 or 50. Very good. It is near to 40. So, the rounding value of 43 to the nearest tens is 40. Right? Yes. Now, I am taking another number. 27. What is another number? 27. See, as we are taking the number line to find the rounding of values easily is now see 27. 27 lies in between which two tens? Good. 20 and 30. So from 20 to 30. Now see 27. Our number is 27. Now take the number line from which two times? Good. 20 to 30. Now see the numbers from 20 to 30. Look at 27. Is 27 near to 20 or 30? Yes. It is near to 30. So the rounding value of 27 to the nearest tens. What is 30? Right? Yes. Now let's see another example. 35. Now the number line we have to take from which two tens? Yes. From 30 to 40. Now take the number line from 30 to 40 as the number is 35. Now the number 35 is exactly at the midway of 30 and 40 on the number line. See, exactly the number 35 is in the middle of 30 and 40. Now, which tens I have to take here? Yes, obviously we will go for the higher tens. Whenever the number is in the middle of the two tens, you should consider the rounding value as next tens, nothing but the next bigger tens. Here which is the bigger tens? Either 30 or 40. Good. 40. So the rounding value of 35 to the nearest tens is? Good. 40. See children, always to draw the number line and representing numbers, it's not possible. Without doing all this, we can find the rounding values by using a small trick. Right? Now, I will tell you those tricks. Whenever you are finding the rounding values to the nearest tens, you have to follow three tips. You have to follow three tricks. The first one, you have to consider the digit which is in ones place. The second one, the digit in a ones place is either 4 or less than 4. If the digit in the ones place is either 4 
or less than 4. Then the rounding value is smaller tens. The rounding value is smaller tens. The third one, if the digit in the ones place is either 5 or more than 5, then the rounding value is good. The next tens means the bigger tens. For example, see here, I am having a number 54. 54. Look at 54. 54. What it is having in the ones place? Good. 4 is in the ones place. As the digit in the ones place is 4, then the rounding value of 54 to the nearest tens. You have to consider as smaller tens. As 54 lies in between which two tens? Yes, 50 and 60. So, the rounding value is nothing but 50. Right? See the next example. 77. Right? 77. What is the digit in first one's place? What is the digit in one's place? 7. The second condition. What is secondary? Yes. You have to see the digit in the one's place. What is the digit in the one's place? 7. Is it above 5 or below 5? Yes. It is above 5. Then you have to take the rounding value to the next bigger tens. So, as 77 lies in between 70 and 80, then the bigger tens is 80. Then the rounding value of 77 is good. 80. Got it children? Yes. So, whenever you are finding the rounding values to the nearest tens, you have to remember the digit in the ones place is the digit in the ones place is either 4 or less than 4. Then you should consider the value as smaller tens. If the digit in the ones place is either 5 or more than 5, then you should consider the value as higher tens. Means the next tens. Right? Good. Now we will practice the magic drill 1.4. See the first Roman. Fill in the blanks with tens. Fill in the blanks with tens. Look at the first number. 48 lies in between dash and dash. The number 48 lies in between which two tens? Right. What is the digit in tens place here? 4. So, the 48 lies in between 40 and 50. So, write down 40, 50. Now, see the next number. What is next number? Good. 91. The 91 lies in between. Very good. 90 and 100. 90 and 100. Here easily you can remember. In the given number, what is in the tens place digit? How many tens are here? That will be the lower tens. And the next tens is the next one. For example, see 91. How many tens are here? 9 tens are there. 9 tens? 90. So the 91 lies in between 90 and the next tens? 100. 10 tens? 100. So, 91 lies in between 90 and 100. Right? Now, look at the next number. 79. 79. Now, you should tell the answer. 79 lies in between which two tens? Good. 70 and 80. 70 and 80. 70 and 80. Right? Now, look at the next number. 25. 25 lies in between which two tens? 20 and then 30. 20, 30. Now 
look at the next number. 34. 34. 34 lies in between which two tens? Good. 30 and 40. Got it children? Yes. Now, see the second Roman. Round off to the nearest tens. See the first one. 96. We have to find the rounding value of 96 to the nearest tens. See, 96. 96 lies in between which two tens? 90, 100. As the digit in the ones place is 6. Is it above 5 or below 5? Good, it is above 5. So, we have to take the rounding value is Next higher tens means 100. So the rounding value of 96 is 100. Now look at the next number. 34. 34 lies in between 30 and 40. As the digit in the ones place 4. The digit in the ones place is 4. So it is below 5. We know that. Whenever the digit in the ones place is 4 or less than 4, then you should take the rounding value as the smaller tens. Here which is the smaller tens? 30. So the rounding value of 34 to the nearest tens is 30. Next now, number 14. 1, 4, 14. Now 14 lies in between which two tens? 10 and 20. What is the digit in one's place? Good. 4. So, the rounding value is? S. 10. The rounding value of 14 to the nearest tens is 10. Next number, 77. 77. 77 lies in between which two tens? Very good. 70 and 80. Now, take the digit in ones place. What is the digit in ones place? Yes. 7. It is above 5. As it is above 5, you have to consider the next higher tens, the next bigger tens. So, what is the rounding value here? Very good. 80. So, the rounding value of 77 is nothing but 8. Now look at the next number. 59. 59. Now tell me 59 lies in between which two tens? Very good. 50 and 60. Next what we have to say? Very good. The digit in the ones place. What is the digit in the ones place? 9. As 9 is more than 5. Then we have to take the rounding value as bigger tens. Which is the bigger ten here? Either 50 or 60. Good. 60. So the rounding value of 59 is 60. Now look at the last number. 22. Now what I should write first? Very good. 22 lies in between 20 and 30. Next Good. We have to consider the digit in the ones place. What is the digit in the ones place here? 2. As 2 is less than 4, then the rounding value is smaller tens. Which is the smaller ten here? Either 20 or 30? Good. 20. So, the rounding value of 22 to the nearest tens is 20. Good. Children, all have got the practice of magic drill 1.4. The remaining will practice in the next session. Thank you.